Yes, I'm talking about Bruno. And yes, I'm the abuela version of Mirabel. Give it up for America's favorite fucking Hi, I'm Makeup Maria from Miami. If you're living your best life in your mid plus plus years, or you love skincare and makeup, this is the place for you. Hello. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Today's video is going to be a journey. I've got a lot of love for the new Disney movie Encanto. If you haven't seen it, corre, no camine. And since this is a beauty channel, I will also talk about the new Encanto makeup collab with the Disney film Encanto made by Alamar Cosmetics. And I'll also tell you a little bit about a connection I have to the Alamar Cosmetics founder. There's so much to say about Encanto. I will be referring to my notes and that's when I'm going to look away over there. And also I'm going to link a bunch of articles in the description box below. So if you want more information about anything, any of the YouTube videos that I mentioned, creators, all of that will be linked below for you if you'd like to do a deep dive. Okay, Disney's animated film Encanto, now streaming on Disney Plus, is one of the few films featuring Latinos and the latest so-called princess movie. It features three generations of a Latino familia, La Familia Madrigal, in Colombia. And get this, it may be the first animated film with a female protagonist who wears glasses. I believe that you cannot overestimate the impact this film is having on people of color, particularly children with curly hair. Parents have shared videos of their kids watching the film and saying, look, mommy, it's me. Also worth noting, one of the beloved characters besides Mirabel, which is who's the main character, her sister Lu Luisa, who has big muscles, apparently Disney did not expect the amount of demand for Luisa merch. Hmm. No conversation about Encanto cannot include the music. The Encanto soundtrack is breaking records. You may have heard this little song, we don't talk about Bruno. No, we don't talk about Bruno. The song has outperformed Frozen's Let It Go as the biggest Billboard Hot 100 hit. Lynn manuel Miranda of Hamilton fame, who is of Puerto Rican des descent, wrote the film's songs. And We Don't Talk About Bruno, in particular, has been blowing up since the movie released in November. With, a, with countless news articles, social media impersonations, I've seen the lyrics translated into about a dozen languages from around the world. And just recently, Stephanie Beatriz, the actress that plays Mirabel, you may know her from her role as Detective Rosa Diaz on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Well, she released a TikTok called Mirabel de Lafayette, a Hamilton Encanto mashup. What? And that's a music in my introduction. So check it out. Hey, before we start talking about the makeup, I neglected to say that uh, much of the authenticity of the film has been attributed to Edna Liliana Valencia, an Afro-Colombian journalist who was a consultant on the film. And I'll link below an article about her journey. Okay, let's talk about makeup. I've got a few products that I'm going to do just kind of like a mini review. Unfortunately, I did not purchase the eyeshadow because it, you know, sold out. It was very popular, but I did try to emulate the green eyeshadow look with the minty uh, empowerment eyeshadow that I love and keeps surprising me. It's wonderful. So, but I was really disappointed that the eyeshadow palette wasn't available. Okay. So the first product is a blush. It's called I'm Blossom. And it's a very, it's a pinky. There was a, a peachy one available too, but I had a lot of peachy ones. So I wanted to try the pinky one, the gloss called Dimelo Cantando, which Dimelo Cantando is Tell It To Me in a, Tell It To Me Singing, which is a, is a great, one of my favorite sayings. It's hilarious. And then we have the lip liner in the same color, Dimelo Cantando, and it's this kind of a dusty brownish color. So I have everything on and I'll show you clips of the application process. 
also purchased this really great mirror that I absolutely love. I didn't know if I should do it. I, was, I had been looking for a handheld mirror for a while and uh, I purchased this and it's adorable. It says, um, El Encanto Eres Tu, which is so cute. And then it has the butterflies honoring Gabriel Garcia Marquez's book. Editing Maria here. It's not a book. It's a seminal novel, 100 Years of Solitude. And there has been some criticism about the film not um, being as historical as it could be because it does take a lot of the themes from the novel. Okay, back to the video. Butterflies have symbolized hope for many Colombians for, for years. It has a butterfly on the lever and it bends so it can lay on the table nicely. It's very, very well done. So I'm glad I purchased it. You'll be seeing a lot of it if you watch my videos. A little bit about the collection. Introducing Disney's Encanto collection by Alamar Cosmetics, inspired by Disney's Encanto's magical interpretation of Colombia. Alamar created an exclusive 13-piece makeup collection intentionally designed to capture the essence of the film's characters and settings. Gabriel Trujillo is the founder and CEO of Alamar Cosmetics. She is a makeup artist who created the startup in 2018 inside a garage in Hialeah. That is what we have in common. I live in Hialeah. Yes, I'm Makeup Maria from Miami because Miami is the brand. It's a global city, but I live in a city called Hialeah, which actually is located in the county, Miami-Dade County. The company Alamar is named after the neighborhood in Cuba where she was born. The makeup's bright colors are inspired by Cuban and Latino culture. Alamar products are cruelty-free, ethically sourced, and affordably priced. Let's talk a little bit about each product. The blush is, I think, it's a tie between the blush and the mirror as far as my favorite products. I think the blush is super pigmented. It's a nice bright color, but interestingly enough, it's not too bright for me. So I'm very excited about this. It goes on really well. It blends, you know, I mean, it's soft. It's, it's a really pretty color and it, you know, it's really nicely done. So I'm excited about the blush. The lip liner was super soft. It went on easily. It seems to stay on quite well. So I'm happy with the liner. The gloss is a little sticky and I'm not sure the color is the best for me. I tend to go a little brighter than that. So what I did was I added the Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace in Songbird. I put that in the center to brighten it just a little bit. Again, I, I went on and on about the mirror, I love the mirror. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little rant about my hometown of Hialeah. Hialeah is a city that, to use an overused word, unique. Something that'll make Hialeah paradise this winter. But let me just throw a couple of fun facts at you. One is Hialeah is the home of the Hialeah Racetrack that you may have heard of. It opened in 1925 and was deemed the most beautiful of its kind, drawing Hollywood celebrities. Uh, a scene from Godfather Part II was actually filmed there. The racetrack also has uh, flamingos that were imported from Cuba in 1934 and made famous by the opening credits of Miami Vice. Uh, Elle likes to watch Miami Vice on Fridays. Miami Vice is a TV show from the 1980s with Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas. Don Johnson is Dakota Johnson's dad. Another interesting fact about Hialeah is that in 1992, the Supreme Court ruled against the city's ban on animal sacrifice in a case of the church of Lukumi Babalu Aye, Santeria is an Afro-Caribbean religion based on Yoruba beliefs and traditions mixed in with some Roman Catholic elements and grew out of the slave trade in Cuba. And yes, they sacrifice animals, mostly chickens. The Supreme Court at the time affirmed the principle that the laws targeting specific religions violate the free exercise clause of the First Amendment. In fact, this ruling was cited in a recent case, a same-sex couple wedding cake case that also came before the Supreme Court. So let's see Disney make a movie out of that. I'll leave links with uh, a lot of the information that was mentioned if you're interested in learning more 
Uh, if you let me know in the comments below if you're if you want more information about the city of Hialeah. If you're still watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias, mucho mucho amor. Have a great day. Stay safe and wear sunscreen.